Good morning, my friends, and welcome to a brand new day here in Boho. So today we are coming live from the beautiful island of Boho, and I'm in Panglawa right now. I'm in a place called Sunrise, and I'm staying here at this beautiful hostel called Sunrise Hostel right here. It's a beautiful place, and just before this vlog gets started, I want to give you a incredible travel hack that's going to save your life forever so whenever you are traveling solo make sure to stay in a hostel so yeah here i'm paying like 300 pesos for 24 hours that's less than three hours in a hotel so a lot of you guys traveling and taking hotels it's good when you have a date you have your partner it's good to take a hotel but if you are traveling solo and you want to travel more you want to save up make sure to figure out finding a hostel somewhere you're gonna save a lot on your travels and that's why most times people say that it's so expensive to travel because you don't know the travel hacks you don't know what you actually need to be doing when you travel it's very easy you just need to use your mind and it's a mindset game all right so today we are in boho and i'm staying here but i'm gonna be driving across the island i'm, go I'm going on the other side of boho so i'm uh, first thing we're going to do is to go see the Tazers today. So today I'm going to see the Tazers in the Philippines for the first time or the very first time in my entire life. I've never seen them before. After that, I'm going to also go to the Chocolate Hills. But the vlog is getting started right here at this accommodation. I have this queer right here facing the hammock. Hey, my friend. Hello. How are you? All right, so this place is a very beautiful place and the owners are very friendly and I want you guys to actually check this place out if you come to Boho. So you have this little hole right here and there's a hammer right under. You could sit there and I'm staying right in here. So you can see the texture of this building right here. Not, yeah, of this building, the texture of it right here. It's a bamboo and it's really beautiful and the people here are really friendly. Like the owners are really accommodating. Yeah, so today I am heading to see the Tazias and then go to the Chocolate Hills, the most talk about adventure here in Boho. And I want to do it to show to share the experience with you guys on the vlog. So welcome to a, a brand new vlog, guys. If you are new here, I'm Success and I do travel videos around the Philippines. And if you want to stay tuned for more travel vlogs, raw travel vlogs from the Philippines, make sure to smash that subscribe button for your boy success. And to all of you guys who have been supporting the vlog, I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thanks for supporting and welcome to the vlog. So let's get started, guys. All right, so let's just say hi to the owner of Sunrise Hut. For sure, if you come here, you won't be bored because you have Sophia to talk to. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Oh, hi, hi. Sophia. <laughs> she's saying, how are Hello, you? Hello, guys. Hi, so she's the owner of Sunrise Hostel. She's very friendly, and thanks for, you know, hosting me here. I really appreciate your kindness, and yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. My friend, hi. Hey, how you doing? This guy is really shy, so we don't want to talk to him <laughs> much. All right, let's go, guys. So we're going to drive right now to Tabilaran. So that's going to be the first stop. Maybe grab some lunch there and later go to see the Tazias. And yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. I can't really see it, so I can't see what I'm shooting at. Yeah. I can't see. This is the black screen. So focus if you want to. Okay. Like all, this, all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to tabilara tabilara city yeah so this is where i actually dropped off from the ferry or the fast boat when i came but i was just driving by here and i'm going to see the tigers the tigers and i just want to walk in here to show you guys because i saw this beautiful signage right here say we love boho i love boho so look here, I love Boho right here. Wow. So yeah, so this is what we're gonna see this today. Tajas and the Chocolate Hills. So make sure to stay tuned. This video might be a little bit long, but make sure to stay tuned for this experience. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not doing videos about Boho anymore, except for this one. I'm not sure yet, but yeah. But look at this beautiful church right here. Yeah, I need to ask, what's the name of this church? It's really beautiful. It looks like an old, Spanish, you know, Asian church in Bo. Oh, look at the pigeons! Oh my god, it's lovely. Yeah, it's really lovely right here. And if you walk down here, you see a lot of uh, you know, locals sitting right here. But this church is really beautiful, man. Yeah, it's really beautiful church. Hello, hi, how are you guys? Sorry, what's the name of this church? 
Cathedral, Cathedral Church. Cathedral Church. Yeah. Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph Cathedral. Oh, it's it's a beautiful church. I really love it. Yeah, yeah it's really a beautiful church. Later, I'm gonna check uh, how many years like this church has been here. So, guys, this is Boho. First impression of Boho right here, and I'm in this little park. It's a t it's not a theme park, but yeah, it could be a theme park. I'm not sure what it is, but we have some flowers right here and right be oh right behind the church is right behind, behind the park is the church and right before the park is this old it's called Pro, province of Bo, province of boho capital building so this is the capital building of boho wow and one thing about boho there are a lot of tuk tuks tuk tuks tuk tuks tuk tuks hey ta where are you ta he knows how to pronounce this where he <laughs> he has some there are a lot of tricycles and a lot of tuk-tuks drivers here in Boho. So this is the capital building of Boho right before me here. I'm so excited to be here, man. And today is going to be an amazing vlog. Your boy's success is in Boho. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boho. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look, look, yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of pigeons flying everywhere. Oh, my God. Come and see your magic. Wow. See a lot of pigeons everywhere. Hi, my friends. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, 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 you could actually feed them. Yeah, Boho is really amazing, guys. Really, really amazing. Beautiful place. This is actually one of the most beautiful. Oh, 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 <laughs> nice. All right, guys, so I'm starving right now. Gotta go find something to eat. Gotta go find something to eat, guys. I haven't eaten my lunch yet, and I'm gonna talk to you guys later. So, on the way to the Tarzos to check out the Tarzos. First time seeing Tarzos in my entire life is gonna be today, and hopefully, I get to see them. But I really love this place, man. This church is really beautiful here, and the yard is also really beautiful, man. Yeah, in terms of Boho, I love Boho. Hi, my friends. Hi, friends. Hi hello. hello. <laughs> yeah. I, thank you. Thank you. I love Boho. Yay. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I am three minutes away from the Taoist uh, Sanctuary. Where I'm going to right now is in Boho. It's at the other side of Boho. I haven't been here before because I'm actually staying at Panglao. I don't like Panglao. It's too crowded up, too much of tourists and a lot of Chinese, Koreans there for diving. It's a beautiful place. The beach, I went to the beach there, Alona Beach is really crowded up. So many tourists, guys. And that's not my thing. Plus, I don't actually want to go on beach, you know, family beach now and those things. I want to tell stories. And the reason I'm going to see the Tarzas and the Chocolate Hills is actually a famous, uh, it's actually a famous attraction here in Boho and if you are wondering or if you want to come to Boho you want to go there I think I could just be able to you know tell you a little bit or uh, uh, a little bit of things to expect like you know so that you can actually manage your expectations going to the Tarzas and the uh, Chocolate Hills so I'm going right now first Tarzas and then later Chocolate Hills on this road right now here and I'm three minutes away from the Tarzas Sanctuary so I choose the one that says Tarzan Sinti Worries and later we're going to go to the Chocolate Hills. So let's go driving and just before we go, I want to give you a travel hike. So another travel hike for today is that whenever you travel in the Philippines and then you travel to the provinces, especially places that you could use a motorcycle. I'm not talking about in Luzon, like going to Bata, I couldn't use a motorcycle there. But you could also rent a motorcycle in Banawe. Yeah. But if you are going to an island like Boho, like Sikiho, one good thing to do is to rent a scooter. All right. I always love to rent scooters. Now you see I have one scooter here. 
I have one scooter here. I rent. I rented this scooter for about four days, so maybe four or five days. I'm gonna be around in Boho, so I already rented the scooter. It's, it's 300 pesos per day, reasonable. But if I was gonna take a tricycle or a taxi to bring me here, I was gonna pay like 3,000 pesos or 4,000 pesos for the tour, which is really expensive. I got a scooter and I just go anywhere I want to go, and I just explore. I have freedom. I'm not limited. So that's really a good thing. You should do that too, man. So let's go. All right, guys. So right now we are here. So this is the way going to the Tarsia's uh, sanctuary. And you can see the sun is right here. I'm just gonna zoom it in a little bit. Yeah. So here it is. And I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go right here. And it's actually my first time here. I don't have a tour guide, but I'm sure they're gonna have a tour guide in there. And actually, it, it opens like 9 a.m. every day and 4 to 4 p.m. So that's the time you could actually come here. So if you if you want to come here, make sure to come 9 a.m. or between 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So yeah, or else the place is gonna be closed. So we're gonna drive there right now. Let's go. And yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Wow, there's a giraffe going there. All right. See you guys there. Let's go. Let's go see Tarzias for the first time. This is my first time to see the Tarzias, you know. I don't know. And I'm going to show you guys the experience. Like, I, I want to share the entire experience with you guys. So make sure to stay tuned. I'm alone on this road right now. I'm alone here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm here right now. And this is the parking. I just parked the motorcycle right there. So I saw a girl right here. This should be the tourist assistance desk right here. But as soon as she saw me, she left the place. So it should be right here. I don't know why. And I just saw some guys just came up here right now. It feels like we have some tourists coming up here to walk and see the Tarzers. So this is another signage. Welcome to Philippines Tarzers Foundations, Tarzers Sanctuary. And this is what we're actually going to see right now. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And we're just going to talk to one of the locals here and, you know, talk to them. Oh, but look here. Welcome, Boho. Mahaiko Ikao. Wow. That's a Tagalog. Yeah. So, let's go talk to the Kuya. Okay, he just directed me to the other side. But this is a very quiet place and I like that and you know, it's actually cool. The temperature is cool. You have a lot of trees right here. Yeah, it's really beautiful. So now we want to go see Tarzias and in real life, in real life, because I've seen a lot of pictures. So we got some Chinese here. I'm not sure the people actually. Okay, I think in this building right here, maybe we're gonna see the staffs who are responsible for this place. I'm gonna be updating you guys if ever you have to pay some fees or how the process is done here. So, okay. Hello, my Hello. friends. Hi, how are you? I'm good. 150 um, each for the industry. All right. All right. Oh, first thing, I'm success. I'm, I'm a YouTuber from Africa, and I do travel documentaries. So I'm traveling around the Philippines right now. Before I go to see the terrorists, can you tell me a little about them or tell my viewers like what you could do or the, pr the procedures here and everything? Uh, you can read some information right there about the torture. All right. How are you guys? Hi, I'm good. All right. So none of you guys want to talk to me? Okay, we're just going to read this right here. I, I'm not sure if I can read this on the blog. It's going to be so long, but I'm just going to read it to myself. All right.
Okay, so this is basically the information here, guys. You can pause the video right here and read everything for yourself. And I don't want to make this vlog too long. I know it's going to be a very long vlog. So can I leave from here to the chocolate hills later? Is yeah. it around here? That chocolate hills? Yeah. Yeah, um, it's like one hour drive. From, from here? Area. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it will be fine if I have some of you guys to really talk to me, but it's fine. So where do we go to see them? We have a music area. Where? At the back of this building. Okay, so I pay here we right now. Pay, yeah. To who? Who am I going to pay to? Uh, that lady. So usually you need to pay 150 pesos for entry fee. All right, so. So after paying 150 pesos, now she's taking me to to see the trousers. But the thing is that we gotta be quiet. As she said, can I talk very loud? in here Ooh, that's one right there we just saw one but it was a small one very small So we can only see for 4,000 today. Why? Um, because we have only six for the viewing area. Okay. And yeah, we spotted four in the morning. Okay. But in the whole sanctuary, we have more than 100. More than 100. Yeah, because it's 8 point for hectares and the viewing area is only one hectare. Is it possible to see a bigger one where I can get a picture or show? The bigger one? No. This, um... The biggest size of the tizer is just like my chest. Okay. So the two is um maximum size of the tizer. So is it is this the only place to see tizers in in yeah. Bohor? Um there is also another place that you can see the tizer. It's in Bilar. Where? Bilar, that is a uh, Bilar conservation. But this is the original sanctuary, and this foundation was started 1990. Yeah. So this is the original one. It's up there, but I think it's very small. My subscribers cannot see. I'm seeing it like it's very small in the tree there. Can you find this in other part of the Philippines? Um. Yeah. There are four islands here in the Philippines, like Samar, Leyte, Mindanao, and the house. I have right, tires yeah. us. So what's the history of, of this animal? It's my first time seeing it. We don't have it in Africa. Yeah. What do you know about it? Can you tell me here a little bit? About the tarsier? Yeah. Um, yeah, the tarsier is um territorial okay. and lunar. That's why you see them only one in in the tree. Okay. And yeah, they are nocturnal, so they are active at night. Okay and sleeping during daytime so right now they are sleeping yeah but yeah. the eyes is still open no no they will close their eyes when they sleep like they can um they will not sleep for the whole day okay yeah. sometimes they will awake then sleeping again okay yeah and their uh, food is insects like wickets grasshopper beetles bugs butterflies okay 
Yes, and if they will have a baby, the mother carries here. Uh, the pregnancy is six months, and another six months of nurturing the baby. Then after that, they, they, the mother carries here will find another territory for the baby, and they will separate. Ah, okay. Yeah, and their mating season is October to March. So then possible they, that... They meet. All of yeah. them, they come together. Yeah, they will have a special calling in between female and male carry series. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Then the, um, the, meeting, the meeting is just 5 to 10 seconds. So, how do they move from trees to trees? Do they, they can, jump or yeah, fly? They can, they can jump 3 to 5 meters distance from tree to tree. Oh. So, their long tail, it will help for the balance. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And how long you've been having this place to uh, to keep the terrorists in here? Um, the foundation, like 26 years. 26 years? Yeah. This place has been here. This was started 1996. So, so uh, since 26 years, sometimes uh, these tigers do they die and what do you do? Um, um, they are in their natural habitat here, so um, it's not that yeah you need to um, taking care of them. Um, all you need to do is um to to preserve their habitat. Okay. Yeah, that's the so, important. Yeah, what if or have you seen like a dead one before or have you um here no. Since no. I was working here. How I many years have you been working here? Um I was working here um like eight to nine years ago. So you haven't seen a dead tarzan? No, no, not yeah, yeah, since I was working here, no. Okay. So nice. Are there other things that you guys are working here aside from touring people around? Are there other things that you need to do to keep them or to go uh, to keep the forest or whatever here? Just, yeah, just to preserve their habitat. Yeah, that is the most important. Yeah. Okay. And how big is this place again? Um, The sanctuary is 8.4 hectares. 8 and the viewing hectares. area is one hectare. So that's why there are only six in here. All right. Yeah. So could you see some of them in the forest? Yeah, yeah. But it's very, uh, it's very hard to find them it's yeah it's, yeah, yeah i see because they are so small yeah. in the tree and yeah yeah so the tarsier is here you, in you are the only person who knows where they are right yeah. now but the tarsiers here are already used in people for a long time that's why it's not really hard to search them yeah got the long tail so that's it right there is it harmful i uh, know but if you're gonna touch them yeah they will bite on you but they are not the kind of um, animals that will attack you yeah so that's one right in the tree right there and it's staring at her it's sad that we can't get a picture since they are always in the dark how how is it possible to get pictures of them how all these beautiful pictures we see how the people manage to capture these photos uh, yeah we can yeah you can take a picture it's really dark like my camera can I don't, yeah maybe yeah you, you try because some of our guests, we can get some, we can get a nice picture. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to show you guys the toys, guys. So this is it right here. Oh, the tail is really long. Wow, look at that. I think some of you guys who have never seen the toys, so that's it right there. So that's the tail right there. Oh my god. Looks like a rock. Like a rod. Alright. So so far so good. That's all I can see. Is this this re is this this fast? Like you just come here and then just go. You cannot tour around in other places? I uh, know, no. We um well, yeah, we offer only a short tour and yeah, and it's a guided tour. So okay. we're, we're not allowed to go alone. All right. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. What's the name? Jera. Sorry? Jera. Jera. All right, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. All right. Are you from Boho? Yeah. yeah. Originally from Boho? Originally from here. So you, okay. <laughs> nice. From this Baranga? Or I'm this? not from this town. Okay. Another town. Yeah, my husband, yeah. He's, okay. He's from here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so far so good. That was the experience. So I think this video, 
it's going to help you to manage your expectation when you're coming here but there are other places that you could also go i don't know how the experience is there but for me i choose to come here and that's a you see like four we saw four tires and i saw three of them that you didn't see because it was dark and they were actually smaller but the last one i managed to capture it for you guys to show you guys you know the actual tires here for those of you who have never seen it and another thing we're gonna do is to go to the chocolate hill so i'm gonna drive to, to the chocolate hills make sure to stay tuned mm, yeah so basically we're just gonna tour around today show you guys around boho and the major attractions here in boho this is actually a very major attraction here in boho a lot of people talk about it whenever you say you're going to boho people expect you to come and see the tarzas or the chocolate hills and the chocolate hills is actually a big one for me i really want to see it i've seen a lot of videos photos of the chocolate hills and, and i really want to have a photo there it's so sad i can't get a photo with the tarzas because the position they are actually hidden and it's really dark you, you could just live in the moment so it's more of like living in the moment than you know capturing the moment to share with people and whatever and yeah and i don't have a very good camera right now because i'm using my phone and all of you, a lot of you guys know that i lost my camera my camera got damaged due to water and stuff so right now i'm using my phone it's not the best but i'm trying my best to keep on bringing videos for you guys so yeah so that's it man all right ladies and gentlemen it was a quick one with the tarza but just before i leave this place i want to tell you a little bit this is going to be over because i'm not reading directly from what i read if you didn't read like what i told you to pause right here so tigers are actually territorial animals and they actually they're actually trying to conserve them here in this forest so conserve the forest so that the tigers can live in this forest and survive because there are not many of them and usually they are only able to carry babies for six months so in a year time or tassos could get like or tassos could get like or one like one baby or might not even get one so people try to you know take good care of them and usually at night they are very active and they uh, in the day they tend to rest so that's why you have to be quiet when you go there because you might just wake them up and that really annoys them and also don't touch the tail don't touch the body or whatever and another amazing thing is that the tiger could actually do a three sister turn with his head so that's really interesting i wanted to see how that's actually done but i mean we can see all of that since they are actually resting in the day they are actually night animals and stuff and yeah so try not to touch them because they might accidentally because they bet you and that's not good because we don't know what might be happening to you maybe it's really personal so oh that's it guys and this this is just a few uh information about tazas you can actually watch the documentary they have a documentary videos about tazas in boho or around the world to get to know more about them but they are they are like a very uh little amount they are in very little amount here and in other part of the world so people try to you know preserve them to keep them so that there be uh an animal called tigers. so yeah and now let's go to the chocolate hills here see i came here no one was here but now a lot of people are already coming back here yeah and i hope this was able to help you to plan your trip to boho if you want to come to see the tigers and everything yeah this is not the best video but i'm just sharing my experiences with you guys and let's go chocolate hills see you guys let's go ladies and gentlemen we are driving in the countryside of boho it should take me about one hour from the tarzas sanctuary to chocolate hills and i just stopped out right here i'm 23 minutes away from chocolate hills but i stopped out here to show you around so look here We got a small little town right here in Boho. So we are heading to Chocolate Hills. And you have this rice field right here with this beautiful view. With this beautiful view right here. I'm just gonna stand right here, show you guys. So this is a rice field. You can see the rice is just coming up. So you have a new rice. Yeah, so look at this beautiful rice field right here. You got people living right there. You see these coconut trees there. So this is basically a countryside. So we call this a countryside. So today I'm exploring everywhere in Boho. I'm driving like I've been driving for so long already. I had one hour drive from uh, the Taiza Sanctuary to the Chocolate Hills. But I had to stop by right here. That's why you need to get a scooter. You can stop by, you know, and just 
uh, you know, capture the memories, take some photos, and yeah, I really love this view right here, man. It's really beautiful. I wish I had a drone. Yeah, I wish I had a drone to just, oh my God, look at that. Oh, there are people wor working in the rice field, right there. Oh, uh, there's someone right there, there's someone right there. Wow. And you have this beautiful mountain right here. It's a hill, actually. It's not very huge to be a mountain. Yeah, but it's really beautiful. Yeah, exploring the Philippines. I really, really feel happy doing this. I'm so excited, man, to share all of these experiences with you guys. Wow. Hello, my friend. Hi. How are you? I want to ask him how can I go to him there to talk to him a little bit. I don't know what he's doing there. He's working because he's really sweating. His shirt is wet. Yeah. Oh, look at the birds in the rice field right there. Actually, that's not a good thing. I think the birds are eating all the rice and that's not really good. But in Africa, we do stop there. Like there's something you have to put there. And once they are flying and sit on those things, they're going to make a sound and they will, they're going to be afraid like, you know, someone is trying to get them. Oh, my hands blocking the camera. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. My hands were just blocking the camera right here. Yeah. All right, I gotta go. So this is it, man. I'm using my phone, so I mean, it is what it is, guys. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm gonna get a camera. So my one of my friends just uh, promised me from the U.S. So hopefully, I'm expecting to get a, a new camera. So it's gonna be better for the vlogs. Uh, I'm still trying my best to vlog for you guys. You know, it's really expensive to travel, vlog, and you know your camera spot. You need to buy a new one. You also need to pay money to travel, pay money to rent a scooter, pay money for accommodation, feedings, tours. We just paid 150 pesos to see the tourists right there, which was not really worth it. Like, oh my God. Yeah. Anyways, this is all part of the experiences, man. I love doing this. Let's go to the chocolate hills. All right, guys, we are still driving, you know, heading to the chocolate hills. But just look at this beautiful place right here. The nature and the trees just cover up the road. Wow. And you have this forest right here. So you can actually hear the sounds of, you know, crickets or bobs in this forest right here. So it just came from here. I just stopped by here. You know, every time I see a beautiful place, I just want to stop by, you know, and show you guys. Yeah. It's actually a beautiful place just in the curve right here. You have these trees on the road here yeah the nature man i really love nature and this is a great adventure so i have been driving everywhere in boho and i'm really enjoying it like i was just thinking about something while driving i was like why not get a motorcycle you know just get a scooter like this you know put, put uh, some carrier here at the back and i could do a motorcycle road trip around the philippines guys what do you think comment down below man make sure if you watch this vlog make sure to comment down below let's do that man let's get a motorcycle you know Put a carrier at the back here and then boom let's go around the philippines with a scooter and that's that's kind of like a similar thing uh one of my role model is doing like uh, he's called become a filipino i really love that guy like he does a lot of adventures around the philippines and i really love it and i feel i want to do it because when you use the motorcycle and drive around you you'll be able to see this beautiful views here these beautiful places look at this road right here oh my god yeah, I just love it when the, you know, when the trees, you know, just cross branches like over the road and, you know, just up here. Oh my God, we really love it, man. So comment down below, guys, and let's go. We're still on the way to Chocolate Hills, but it's like, I'm going to Chocolate Hills, but it's, the vlog is no more about Chocolate Hills. I'm just getting really like excited about the, the road, like the entire road trip. I just filled up my time right now. I'm 14. I'm going to show you guys. So I stopped by at the gas station. I put a petrol in the motorbike. So right now I'm full tank. And I just want to keep driving. Like I just want to keep driving everywhere to check out beautiful places. I saw a lot of beautiful places on the way, but you know, I can't do it all, man. I can't do all in, in a single vlog. The vlog is going to be too long. And some of you guys are already complaining about long vlogs, but I mean, I'm sharing my experiences traveling, man. This is about me. This is my, this is my YouTube channel, right? 
yeah, I appreciate your love and support, but this is about me. I want to do raw vlogs and I want to share all of the experience with you guys in detail. And I feel there are a lot of people here who love that, who love raw vlogs and who want to see everything in details and who are able to sit to watch my vlogs. I really appreciate that. So yeah, I also appreciate your concern, your comments and everything. Let's go Chocolate Hills and enjoy the view, man. Yeah. I just stopped by here again. This place is so cool. You have these big trees right here in this curve right here. Yeah, it's so cool, man. I'm just gonna drive slowly. Sorry. I'm just gonna drive slowly. Wow. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh, there are people stopping here. People stop by here just to take photos and videos. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this place is really cool, guys. I think I've seen this. Oh my God, look at there are, Oh my God, look here. There are a lot of trees. Oh no, this is beautiful guys, beautiful, yeah! Wow! Happy souvenirs shops right here. Let's stop by right here. Hello! So we just stop right here at the souvenir store right here. No way the camera is open. What is calamai? The delicacies of Bahal. Delicacies of Is this the coconut, the coconut with no eyes? Coconut uh, shell. Say the coconut shell is uh, sticky rice. Oh, sticky rice. Yeah. Sticky rice, coconut milk, peanut and sugar. What, what do you, how do you eat this? With bread or something? Oh, yeah. With bread. Oh, okay. So, it's... Yes. Huh? I want to be no sir, to 20 pesos only. I have okay. a lot Yeah, I'm a vlogger. How do you call this place so that people can come and buy from you? How, what's the name of this place? That's a man-made forest. Man-made forest? Yes. Man-made? Man-made. Man-made forest. Yes. Oh. So many people to go there to taking a picture. Yeah, I see. It's really, yeah, it's really beautiful. I, yeah. When I go here, I don't know about this forest, but when I go here, I was going to Chocolate Hills. Yeah. That's all I I know. How did you get these things here? How much? Three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah, it's very cheaper. Because if you buy the other shop, it's five hundred. This one too. But here is only three hundred. I I want to buy two hundred. This one. No, it's very cheaper. Why? <laughs> Boho. Boho, Philippines. Yeah. What about the bags too? This one is two hundred. Two hundred for the bags. Yep. Handbag. What about this one? One hundred for a cell case. Mm. What do you put in this one? Cell phones. Phones, yeah. Keys, phones. I'm not single. I'm engaged. I have a fiancé. What about this one? Two fifty, sir. And this it's the one? same as this one is two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Right, so here, guys, you could get souvenirs here. They actually have beautiful stuff here. Beautiful, beautiful stuff here. I really love this one. Yeah, I can see. I really love these ones. It's one fifty only. And this one? Two fifty. Tasha. Yeah, the Tasha. Mm -hmm. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I just arrived at this place right here and you can see the signage say, welcome to Chocolate Hills. So we are here and I can see a few hills right there. So uh, basically we are about to enter in the territory or the terrain of the Chocolate Hills, but there should be a specific place where you could stay and over, you know, oversee them. So we need to talk to the locals because my map is not actually finding that because the map was actually taking me to another place until I found a local who told me that I need to come this way. So this is one chocolate hills right here and another one there and another one there another one there. So we're going to go find where we uh, actually could go up and see the entire chocolate hills. So let's go. But yeah, we made it, man. As, oh, as of now, I'm already seeing chocolate hills, so I'm impressed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, finally, we made it to Chocolate Hills. But first thing, we're going to go to see the Chocolate Hills later. First thing we're going to do is to do our registration. And oh my God, on the day I came here to the Chocolate Hills and it's about to rain. That's a very good luck. Anyways, I'm not afraid of rain anymore. I'm not afraid of rain anymore. That's a good luck. So let's go right here. So he told me the ticket is actually 100 pesos. Hello. So how do we, what's the procedure of going to the Chocolate Hills? Sorry? What is the procedure of going to the Chocolate Hills? You can ride a free shuttle, So after we buy the ticket yeah. and then we ride a free, free shuttle yeah. going to Chocolate yeah. Hills. So how much for the ticket again? 100 for one 100 person. 100 pesos for one person. Okay, can, can I have one ticket please? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So that's it ladies and gentlemen, 100 pesos for one person and see you guys up on the chocolate hills. Let's go guys. So right now we are riding the free shuttle right here, heading to the chocolate hills. And we are so lucky, we are the only people in this room because there are a lot of tourists who just arrived. And I can imagine how many people who have been sitting in here. Oh, a lot of souvenir stores right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, finally we made it to Chocolate Hills. But first thing I want to do is to look here. You see, there are a lot of tourists right here taking photos of this place and just let's take a look at the property right here so they have restaurants here souvenir store they have a bathroom she told me that there is a cr and here you could see some chocolate hills from right here but this is not the best view oh look at oh my god it's really beautiful man but this is not the best view so we are actually going up there so we're gonna go up there to check out the view but before we go up there i want to show you around here you know so i want to show you around here around the property and everywhere man so this is the restaurant right here and you got the workers here so it's actually 100 pesos to come here you got to pay 100 pesos for entry fee to enter here i think this should be the restaurant here see i'm getting hungry i've been driving all day man i deserve the food i'm not sure how many stairs you need to climb to go up there but let's see okay another beautiful place here look down here look at these trees here you could actually go and tour right down there wow look at the view here guys look at this view look at this view right here wow wow it's really beautiful it's beautiful so just imagine us going up there so make sure to stay tuned and let's go up there we have this big bus here bringing a lot of tourists here Hello, my friends. Hi, amigo. amigo. You always gotta be friendly with the locals. Wow, look at this beautiful place right here. That fun in the water. So we're gonna pass here to go up, but let's tour around here. Hello, hey. how are you? Oh, hello. You guys are relaxing. All right, so I just took the bypass here. I sh you should actually come from right here, but I took the bypass because my name is Success and I'm successful in everything. <laughs> oh, now it's time to climb up. Let's see if I'm going to be successful. Right, so as you're going up, the view is just, it's just getting so beautiful.
Wow. As we continue to go up the view, keep getting beautiful. We got the property right here. This is a real workout, right? Yeah. Why are you going that way? No, I think we should go up. Yeah. All right, but shout out to. It is like a snake going up, just not straight. All right, there's no way that it's close. So just met these travelers from Germany. Hello, Hi. welcome to the Philippines. Thanks. All right, let's go and check out a beautiful view of Chocolate Hills in Boho. Oh, there are people doing ATV right down there. You can do ATV <laughs> to go around the place. Yeah. Almost there, guys. Almost at the top. Almost at the top, guys. Hi, hello. Hello, hi. <laughs> Welcome to Boho. Chocolate Hills. Yeah, Chocolate Hills. What? <laughs> yeah, finally. Finally, we made it. Up here. <sighs> yeah, we did it, guys. We did it. We did it. We're up here now. Now, let's check out Chocolate Hills and the beauty. Wow, is it beautiful? All right. So, is it worth it driving from Tabula around here? All right, nice. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, there are thousands of them. Like, look there. You can see a lot of them there. So, we made it, guys, to Boho Chocolate Hills in, to show you guys here. <laughs> See the family there doing TikTok. Today's vlog was successful because it was done by success here. Viewing from the top, Boho Chocolate Hills. Traveling alone today. I drove across Boho. So you can see, oh, there are just a lot, a lot of them, like everywhere. Look there, there are still Chocolate Hills there. Wow. Wow. Amazing, man. Amazing view. Amazing view, guys. So now you can just enjoy the view everywhere. And you got people right there doing ATV down there. So that's the. So this entire, like, oh. Uh, trail you see here is for ATV so you could do ATV of A here and sometimes also go to the chocolate hills yeah I think you could also go up to the chocolate hills doing ATV wow guys this, this view is really really amazing so look at that. really worth it coming here man yeah Look at that right there, guys. Yeah, you guys be buzzed right here. So this, 
those guys seen the bus were actually Chinese. I think Chinese guys are. Uh, Yeah. Alright ladies and gentlemen, right now I, I feel all those guys are having a lot of fun down there. They are making so much noise and I can hear them from here. So now the view is actually better. So look at the chocolate hills right here. So because of the sun, but look at the reality here guys. So a lot of locals come here and tourists come here to do photos, videos and everything. Yeah, but it's really a cool place, man. You can stay here as long as you want to. Just pay 100 pesos. Hello, my friend. How are you? <laughs> so, you can stay here as long as you want to. Just pay 100 pesos. And you should come here, guys. You should actually come here. It's really worth it, guys. Yeah, I love it here. You should come here. I'm not sure how to use this. Oh, it's like you need to put a coins in there. Yeah, look at the view from right here, chocolate here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, some foreigners here. That's not Tagalog. That's different. Like it's okay. It's fine. Where are you guys from? Korea. Korea. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> So they are Koreans. I knew that was not Tagalog. <laughs> yeah, or oh, Pisaya or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, so far so good. That's all you... Oh, no. Look here. So I was just looking the other way, but look at the hills right here. You can still see a lot of chocolate hills this way. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Guys, I haven't checked out this way. There are just a lot of them this way too. You can see a lot of chocolate hills here. I was just checking out the other side and I've been standing there all along, not knowing. But anyways, these ones are the, are the closest one here. But I mean, so this place is kind of like a 360 view of Chocolate Hills. So you could do a 360 view of being Chocolate Hills and just, you know, capturing a lot. Oh my God. Damn, look there. Oh, there's a place that I see your smoke. So, oh yeah, there are farmers. You know what? I think I'm gonna drive up here tomorrow with the scooter, find some farmers, and just go stay with them like for some time, you know? Just go stay. You know, I just passed right there, and I never, I was not even thinking there are chocolate hills on the other side. Oh, wow, what a beautiful place. Yeah, so basically, this place is just full of a lot of chocolate hills, man. A lot, a lot, a lot of chocolate hills. Wow, man. So it's a 360 view of Chocolate Hills and it's getting bright on this side right now. I'm going to show you again. It's getting brighter on this side with a lot of Chocolate Hills. I'm just going to say Hills now. I'm tired of saying Chocolate Hills, Chocolate. So where is the chocolate now? We want to eat chocolate. <laughs> yeah. So look at that. So beautiful, man. Yeah. So now that we are here at the Chocolate Hills, a lot of you guys might be wondering how these hills, you know, came to life and, you know, are here right now and people who come up here to uh, view the hills and, you know, just enjoy the view. Yeah, while you, you are enjoying the view, it's also important to learn a little bit about the Philippines, Filipino geography and everything. So according to Filipino geography or what people believe, by the way, I'm going down right now more than 200 and almost 220 stairs, according to one of the locals. I don't believe that, but okay. it is what it is. So, people believe that this place used to be covered up in water before, and after many years, these hills just show up because they survive. They used to be together, according to 
what I read. I'm just orally explaining to you right now. So they used to be together and they are actually survivors after land wash or you know a lot of disasters about the water cover covering of this place. So they survive in the form of a limestone, but they are actually hills because as you can see they have like grass and plants grows on them. So they are actually chalky hills and they, they were divided by the, uh, the, er the eruption or the water covering up this place so that's why you see you have a lot of hills like in a single place yeah i hope that helped you <laughs> i hope that helped you yeah yeah but you have to do it have something to do with water in this place and these hills show up and you know if you are filipino you know more history on this you could you know drop a comment down below so we could also learn from it. Now, as you can see, I'm going down a very long stairs. I think, yeah, going down is actually better and easy than going up. I'm not sure how am I gonna go. Like, I'm gonna be alone in the free shelter that brought me up here. Am I gonna wait for other people to get in or am I just gonna go? I'm not sure. So let's go. Downstairs, and there is only one way to find out is to go there. Amigo, amigo, yeah, let's see sure. how long do I need to wait now? All right, thank you. All right, so I'm going. Oh, I'm gonna go along. Wow. Enjoy. Thank you. I'm gonna enjoy. I'm alone. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Every good team must come to an end. Today yeah, I visited the Chocolate Hill in Bohol, and now I'm about to leave. Thank you. Thank you. I'm about to leave. I'm excited that I ha I'm having this experience here in the Philippines, and some days I won't be around anymore. But yeah, I came up to the Chocolate Hills, and just. In time that I'm about to leave, the sun is about to show up. That's good for my travel back. It was about to rain. That's why probably you're going to see the video here from the Chocolate Hills. It's going to be a little bit darker because of the dramatic weather. But it is what it is and we have been here. That's the most important thing. I've seen Chocolate Hills and you have seen Chocolate Hills. For those of you guys who have never seen it before, here in Boho. Wow, luckily you got a lot of crazy... Oh, cook. I, want, <laughs> I wanted to say Christmas trees. Coconut trees, buco trees down there. Yeah, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I just go back here and I'm about to go grab my scooter and head back to Panglao. That's gonna be a long drive, a long travel for me again. And it was nice having you guys. I'm not gonna film my way back. This is already a very long vlog for you guys and sharing all of my experiences with you guys as always is your boss success I'm humble here to share my experience with you guys my travel experiences around the world So not just the Philippines man if you are new here and you don't know me I'm success I do travel videos I do road travel vlogs and if you want to stay tuned for more travel vlogs from the Philippines make sure to smash that subscribe button the Philippines and around the world and if you want to support what I do please make sure to check down in the description i have a paypal and you can join the channel membership you could also give me a super thanks it's actually going to help me to travel more and actually it means a lot to me if you could help me and also i'm going to leave a link in the description of this video and if you want to order something like you're traveling around the world or you are somewhere in the us or europe or even in the philippines you want to order something from shopify i have my brother who have a shopify store and he have given he have giving me a link so if you're gonna click the link to buy i'm gonna get a little bit of commission to also help me to travel so make sure to check down in the description below and check that link and go shop in shopify for my brother and promote his store man 
yeah so ladies and gentlemen once again it's your boy success i'm happy to have you guys on the vlog today it was a beautiful day here in boho i love all of the experiences and to share with you guys to also give you a picture or clear clearer picture of what to expect when you come here to boho you want to go to the chocolate hills you want to go to the tourists and everything it's actually amazing man the chocolate hills video could not be the best one for you because it was not sunny so the shots may not be as beautiful as other vloggers but yeah i mean i made it there and i show you guys and I told you guys around because right now the weather is really dark. It was almost about to rain, but luckily for us, there was no rain and I'm leaving right now. So I'm so happy to share these experiences with you guys and I hope to see you guys in the next one. It's your boss success. Keep supporting. If you are new here, make sure before you go smash that subscribe button. If you are all here, thanks for supporting me always. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Let's get lost together in the next one. Peace.